Hey, welcome back to Rust Belt Broncos. And today, as you can see, we have the Overland trailer um, back on the ground. We did finish up the Timberland, uh, I'm sorry, the Timberin axles. These are the 3,500 pound axles on a four by six trailer. And uh, some of the things that we did here is we had to reinforce the frame uh, when we put this axle in. Uh, it's pretty straightforward on installing. Uh, what my dad did was basically took a few measurements of the axles and um, was able to mark the location on the frame. We did run the two by two uh, steel cross beam uh, across uh, the trailer uh, to each side. Now these are the 13 inch wheels that came on the trailer but we're going to be switching them out to xj wheels and running a 255 on there uh, so just this is just temporary to continue on with the build and as you can see the timberin 3500 pound axles are on uh, everything looks great the uh, trailer is nice and level and we have the uh, steel floor in there as you can see and uh dad went ahead and welded that in used to be bolted in and then you can see we had to kind of notch the frame up there from where the timberins are, are coming through and then underneath we ran like um some steel also uh to to box that in and then we're going to be building a frame uh for the rooftop tent so this is the steel for that and we're going to be cutting that out um here shortly for the next video and then welding the frame support for that up there rooftop tent over there and uh, we're going to be also putting in a toolbox that i picked up today uh, that we're going to be making the kitchen out of so just a quick update on where we are with the trailer uh, the timberin 3500 pound axles are on uh, the trailer is back on the ground and we have some other um, cool things coming for the trailer so just another shot of underneath how awesome that looks everything came together good you can see that uh, cross support we put in there because we did have to take out one of these when we put that in so that it was in the center of the trailer and then we're gonna have to figure out a solution for the fenders as well but here it is looking awesome can't wait uh, to get that frame built uh, still dealing with a little bit of coldness out there but stay tuned and again if you uh like the channel and uh, you like these videos please make sure to like and subscribe and ring that bell for future updates thank you